Hello, in this video I'll be investigating the relationship between light intensity and distance. The setup I have here is as follows. I've got a torch here, I'll be providing my light. I've got a light meter here, that measures the intensity in a unit called lux. And I've got a meter rule placed along the desk there, so that I can measure the distance. In order to collect readings, I'll be turning my torch on, turning the main light off in the room, and then positioning the light meter at 10 centimeter intervals. The 10 centimeter intervals are measured from the bulb in the torch. So I'll be moving that gradually further away in the first instance, recording the light intensity on the light meter at those 10 centimeter intervals and then I'll be bringing it closer again at 10 centimeter intervals to give me repeat readings for the light intensity. At the moment the unit here is set or the scale is set so that it's reading in kilolux. So these are thousands of lux, the units. When I get to 40 centimetres, I'll change the scale so that it's reading in lux. So when that goes into the table, I'll be adjusting for the 1000 multiplier for some of the readings. You can see that I've clamped the light meter here. That's so that I get a good consistent positioning between the lamp and the light meter at all times for all readings. The camera should be positioned well enough to take those readings and the torch will be shining on the screen so we will be able to see the readings when the main light is off but that's what it looks like when the torch is on so let's turn the lights off and start collecting some data okay the main lights are off now and we are ready to start collecting data i've positioned the ruler so that it's level with the bulb in the torch and i need to position the light meter sensor so that it's level with the distance that I want to take a reading for. At the moment, it's at 10 centimeters, so I'm, I'm having my line of sight perpendicular to the meter rule looking from above the light meter. And that's what I'm attempting to do here. There we go, so that's right on the 10 centimeter now. Let me take a reading. So that says 11.2. 7.3, now that is in kilolux, so 11.73 uh, times a thousand. Let's go back. Twenty centimeters. That's 3.04 kilolux. Thirty centimeters. That's one point two nine kilolux. Forty centimeters. Now I need to adjust the scale. Okay, the scale is now adjusted so that we're reading in lux now. So these are not kilolux. That's 759 or 0 0.759 kilolux. 50. Sixty centimeters. That is three hundred and sixty six. Okay. Seventy centimeters. Two hundred and seventy five.
80 centimetres. It's 216. Ninety centimeters, one hundred and seventy one, and this is one hundred centimeters, one hundred centimeters, that's one hundred and forty. Okay, now I will need to repeat the readings. <laughs> data collected. So now what I'll need to do is analyse the data to see what type of relationship we have between the intensity and the distance. In particular I want to see if intensity and distance follow the inverse square law that I'm expecting. 